Rasa
for your word, all Father, through your servant, our bishop, dear Father, we pray as he stands on this altar this morning, you shall use him that never before, O oh God, to the glory and honor of your name. We pray that you may strengthen him, O oh God, give him special insight, revelation of your word. As he ministers, O oh God, we pray for divine grace upon him, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our Father.
because we now rest at your feet, O oh God, that you may feed us with your holy word in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, may your word meet our need, O oh Father. May your word reprove us, O oh God. May your word correct us, O oh God. May your word encourage us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. May your word bring healing, O oh God, to every heart and every soul today. In the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, we thank you and we give you glory for you, our God and our Savior, indeed. For it's in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to assist me to welcome our Bishop, Dr. Patrick, to minister what the Lord has put in his heart to Shangriye Bwana Yesu. Anapo Kuja, Kulinena, Nena Lamun. Amen. Those who are our visitors, my name uh, is Bishop Dr. Patrick. I'm the senior pastor of Gospel Celebration Church, Chuka Town, um, with other ministers under me. And on behalf of the ministry team, we say again, you're welcome. Feel welcome to our church feel loved, feel appreciated because our God is gracious. Uh, those who our brethren from diaspora who normally come, like the Kimadi's family, uh, feel also welcome when you come. You feel this is your place. This is your home church and therefore uh, feel uh, so appreciated for being with us this um, this Sunday. This morning, uh, I want us to share uh, on giving towards the sanctuary project or the sanctuary of God and the stewardship of the material given. Giving towards the sanctuary project because we have a sanctuary project that has been in the planning level for quite a time. Because we normally say thinking is hand. That's why we call it critical thinking. Our critical thinking is not simple. It can take some time. But when the thinking is done, implementation of the thoughts or ideas becomes very easy. And that's why I was saying, I thank God for uh, our development council for sitting down, thinking, consulting, and uh, doing forums and meetings, and also praying together and uh, and uh, and uh, fasting together uh, with the help of LCC. Uh, and uh, we have now come to that which uh, uh, we feel that God uh, will lead us to do. Um, I would like us to go to 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verses 11 and 12 as our part of introduction. Uh, and then we shall go to Samuel 2 uh, Samuel chapter 7 verses 1, uh, 2 and 3. When Solomon unfinished the temple of the Lord and the royal Paris. Look at that. And, and succeeded in carrying out all he had in mind to do in the temple of the Lord and in his own palace. After the king was settled in his palace and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him. He said to Nathan, the prophet, Here I am living in a palace of cinder, while the ark of the Lord remains in tents. Nathan replied to the king, Whatever you have in mind, go ahead and do it, for the Lord is with you. Let's go back to verses 12 of 2 Chronicles chapter 7. The Lord 
appear unto him at night and said, I have heard your prayers and I have chosen this place for myself as a temple of sacrifices. Now, these two, a son and father, David is saying that now you have given me peace. I am in my own house which is made of cinder. But the hack of covenant is resting in tents. And this was a disturbance to him. He went to his prophet. He went to his priest and said, I am feeling that I have to do something. This is David who is saying. If you remember very well, the Lord told him, your hands are full of blood because David had fought a lot of battles. And he was told, you are not going to build me a house. Your son will build me a house. But I thank God because David and Revelation. He knew that a son was a tender boy. Because who was supposed to follow in the line of king, kingship was not Solomon. But Solomon was the one that God preferred. And I want to say this. It doesn't matter who you are. When you are preferred by God, you will become what God wants you to become. It doesn't matter whether they are those think according to the protocol. They are the people that can be able to, to be in a certain uh, leadership position either in the nation, either in the levels of the uh, different governments in Kenya, either in the national government or in the, uh, in the county government. There are those that God is calling and sometimes on an Indonesia. Let me tell you, God does not follow protocol. He follows what he needs to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, that's why Absalom never became the king after his father David. Because he's the one that was in the, uh, in the line of becoming a king. But Solomon was chosen a tender boy. And this is why we see that David, though he was not told to uh, build, uh, he was stopped from building. The Bible says he left material. If you want to read about the material that David left for the house of the Lord, there, there, there are so many materials. He read, he read, he read the whole, the whole nation. Uh, I mean the whole group of leaders. He read them and uh, he put them, uh, uh, you know, to make sure that they have raised funds. They have raised, you know, money for this house. And David, uh, and you know, there's a big rest of what David helped to rise. He helped to raise before he died. Every Every commitment of this man called David, every commitment he corrected, every funds that are listed in the Bible, which he helped to, to raise because God was with him. And he said, though I am being stopped, I know God will help me to do that which I am feeling in my heart to do for the sake of building the house of my father. If you go to 
First Chronicles chapter 29. The king, then King David saying to the whole assembly, My son, the one whom God has chosen is young and inexperienced. You see, let me tell you, as you pray, do not be categorical thinking that this one is the one that will, will become a leader. God knows. Tell God to do as well. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't just go to things. Don't go just talk openly. Uh, you know, things that uh, make you to be ashamed. The Bible says that God has chosen this young man, though a young and inexperienced. The task is great because this, uh, this uh, parachial structure is not for man, but for the Lord, which with all my resources I provided for the temple of my God, gold for good work, silver for silver work, bronze for bronze work, iron for iron work, wood for wood work, and well as well as oxels for the for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, settings, tarquish stones, uh, stone of various colors and all kinds of uh, fine stone and marble. I remember when we were on our way to Makueni, I was telling, uh, see, as you approach the town of Machakos, kuko na mawe, ya mepango kwanjia, mawe ya kupendeza. Now, uh, and Peter was asking me, suppose, Haya mawe angekuwa karibu na sisi. Nafikiri mmeona katika nini kuna mahali mawe ile ya kawaida inashikanishwa. Nikamwambia it's not hand to get four so rolls from here. Si hizo ni around 100,000. 100,000 tukipata takucha kuchukua hapa na tulete. Tuweke katika nyumba ya Bwana. Ikiwa tunaenda materials mahali kurefu kwa sababu ya nyumba zetu na kazi zetu. What about kazi ya Bwana? Um Verses 2. Verses 3. Beside, in my devotion to the temple of God, I, I now give my personal treasures of gold. L listen to that. He is not giving us a king now. He is giving us David gold and silver for the temple of my God. Over, the, uh, over and above everything I have provided for this holy temple. Verses 3. 3,000 talents of gold. Gold of offer. Unanjua the tofauti ya dhahabu. Kuna dhahabu na dhahabu. 7,000 talents of divine silver for overlaying of the walls or of the buildings. For the gold work and the silver work and for all the work or uh, to be done by the craftsman, now who is willing to concentrate himself today to the Lord. Let's continue. Then leaders of families, leaders of families, the officers of the tribes of Israel, the commander of thousands and commander of hundreds and the officials in charge of the king's work, Give willing. They gave to ones the work of the temple of God five thousand talents and ten thousand talents of gold, ten thousand talents of silver, eighteen thousand talents of bronze, and hundred thousand uh, and a hundred thousand talents of iron. And who and precious stone gave them to the treasury in the temple? Uh, of the temple of the Lord in the custom uh, in the custom of Jael the Gasonite Uyondio alikuwa treasurer the people rejoiced uh, re rejoined at the willing response of their leaders for they are given freely and were attended to, uh, to the Lord David the king rejoiced greatly David praised the Lord in the presence of the assembly saying praise be to you O lord god of my father 
uh, of our father Israel from everlasting to everlasting. But who? Look at that. Who am I? And who are my people that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you and we have given you only what comes from your hands. Now, what do I want to say as an introduction? Look at David. Though he was told you will not do this, he left material for a son. He gave, he, he encouraged men and the women to give. And he told them, we cannot live comfortable when the house of God raised. We are going to raise a house for the Lord. And you have seen the way it is. That's why you remember because Israel took worship houses as important as that. You remember one time Jesus Christ, as they were going to boast. You see, people can boast. Kamambia Ngalia, he temple, he rinjengwa, Ngalia. Aliwambia nini? One day, this temple will be down, and no stone will be on another. You remember that? Why do you think there was no stone under the other? Because wakati ili chomwa, thahabu ili yuka ikaingia katika meanya. And those people that were ukiona ata huku nyumba ikibomolewa, wale ambao waliona zile silibomolewa huku town. People went looking for uh, uh, for valuable materials and uh, like chuma uh, vitu ambavyo vilikuwa kule wakati e eh, eh, karo ilichomwa kwa sababu moto ulikuwa mkubwa ukayeyusha ile gold kwa sababu on the wall if you look me i like you can see golden you see golden golden colors uh, are my favorite together with uh, with royal blue uh, or navy blue because that one is authority this one is wealth Nyumba ya Mungu ambayo tunajenga si kunjenga nyumba ambayo haionekani ni kunjengea Mungu nyumba. Daudi akasema ya kwamba siwezi kuizi katika nyumba mzuri na uh, na ekaru ya Bwana ikiwa namna hii ikiwa ni matambara ikiwa imejengwa namna hii I want to build a house to the Lord. But I want us to go to examples Examples of people that earned the urge to do the work of giving to ones. The church of Christ. The temple of God. Let's go to Exodus chapter 25 uh, and verses 1 to 9 very quickly. The Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israel to bring me an offering. This is now God who is talking to your servant to bring an offering to me. You are to receive the offering for me from each man whose heart prompted him to give. These are the offerings you are to receive from them. Gold, silver, and bronze, Blue, purple, and scarlet Earns and fine linen, gold hair, ram skins, dyed red, and hinds of sea cows, acacia wood, oil or olive oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the flagrant incense. And ox stones and other gems to be mounted on the effort and breast piece. Then have them made a sanctuary for me, and I will dwell among them. Make this tabernacle and all its furnishings exactly like the pattern I 
will show you. Now, this portion, it is God that is talking about this was the first sanctuary or tabernacle that after people settled in the desert because they, there was uh, no place for worship. And God is talking to Moses uh, to tell the Israel to bring an offering. And that's what I am requesting you. We have taken our week of prayer and fasting. Those prayer items that are on the wall and others that were sent to Kwamtandao, we have been praying and uh, praying and seeking God so that uh, we will be able to give our pledges of the offerings to ones are uh, preparing a place for the Lord. The Israelites were to bring an offering to the Lord. Moses and to receive the offering for the Lord from every man who was prominent, who and prominent, who is prominent to give. Not just like that. Do not be excited and do not just say because others are saying it must come within from you. Every man whose heart promises him to give. And you have seen the offerings that were wanted as specific. Then Development Council on behalf of the LCC, they have specific things that they are going to lead us. So that now we will be told stone for stone, cement here. There are specific things. We thank God that they have drawn themselves to that to come up with these specific specifications. Now, it and whatever is going to be done uh, has, been, has been stipulated. The measurement is known. It is known mtigani utapandwa wapi. Nyasi ya inagani itapandwa wapi. Mawegani itawekwa wapi. Kitugani kitawekwa wapi. In such a way there is order. That's exactly what God wanted. God wants order. God wants people that will give from the heart. People that will be prominent from their hearts to give. And I hope from now we are not going to see pledges that are not met. Please don't try this at home. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Don't never, never. We do not want that kind of thing again because we know it brings curses to us. That's why we give time. We give time the whole week to pray and to fast. And so that we can be able to do. I thank God because there, has, there is a specification. Ukiangalia, ukiangalia the way, the things, uh, the outcome. You all know that we have specific things to, uh, in a specific areas. Let's go to Exodus chapter, um, chapter 36. Very quickly. Chapter 36. The Bible says, Then Moses summoned Bezali and Hoilieb and every skilled person to whom the Lord had given ability and who was willing to come and do the work. Now I am talking to the people with the skills. God has given us skilled men, skilled women who have skills. God has given us men and women with the skills of all kinds. And God Prometent those that were killed. They received from Moses all the offerings. The Israel and brought to carry out the work of constructing the all uh, the sanctuary. And the people continued. Hear that. After whatever they had given was given to the skilled men, people never stopped. And the people continued to bring free will offerings morning after morning. So all the skilled craftsmen who are doing 
all the work on the sanctuary left their work. Yani wale walikuwa wanajenga, wakaondoka, wakaacha kazi. Kwa nini? And sent to Moses. The people are bringing more than enough. They are bringing more than enough for doing the work the Lord commanded to be done. Verse 6. Then Moses gave an order and they sent this word and they sent this one throughout the camp. No man or woman is to make anything else to uh, ask an offering for the sanctuary. Yani waka, they, they were given a command. They were ordered. And so the people were restrained from giving, from bringing more. Verse 7. Because what they already had, uh, had was more than enough to do all the work. Now, The Bible says that the, the willing skilled persons and to come and do the work. And I know we have skilled men here. Tafadali, if God has given you skills that can help us to make the product of the work of the Lord well, do not hide your skill. I want to thank God for those who are not hiding their skills. And we have seen here, they were named. Na wakati ukiona, manjina ingine, unauliza, manjina yale soft watu wawa likuwa wapi. Hapa tunaona maudhi niel, okuwa roku, ekialaki. Sasa akina motegi, akina njeru, na akina morevi. Walikuwa wapi, ili manjina hii ambao injui haichomeki vizuri, yandikwe pale. Ambia mwanzako usilale, usilalie kazi. Wambia usilalie kazi. Yes. The skilled men were now, they went. And the Moses and given all whatever was given as offering for the work. Everything. And we see here, people continued to give. Now, It is something that is a great revelation here. These men could have received materials. They could have kept materials for themselves. They could have sold those materials. They could have sold and put in the in their account. But here they said no. They stopped doing. They said people should be stopped from bringing. Why? Because one, there was no corruption. Two, there was no greed. Three, there was contentment. It is good not to pocket things for the sake of pocketing without knowing. <laughs> Within the week, one of my sons, Ambaya Likua Hapa, na kwa sababu zaza nafanya kazi ya biashara ya mata tu, kazi ya mata tu, pande hii. Alifika Hapa, alikuwa nataka kupeana tithe, kwa sababu aliniambia wakati ni kwa upande huu, tithe itakuwa inakuja Hapa. So waka kuja kwa Yunis, ya kamuambia nataka mbaasha. Inoza kamulisha, wewe ni nani? Na ni mbaasha ya nini unaitisha? Haka sema mbaasha ya taithi. Haka ulizo taithi ya nane ya kupeleka wapi? Mtu anapelekanga taithi mahali, anakulanga. Mbona unataka kuleta hapa? Unajua yunes ya kuwa merikongnaizi. Tasa ndi yale muambia mimi, na ituwa nganga. Na baadhi ya maua unaona imepando hapa, nilipanda. Tasa ndiyo yunes ya lifunguka macho. Si maa. I, I liked that. Uwezi kuleta pesa. Unaleta pesa hapa, unaleta. Kwani unaleta nga hapa? Hapa ni kwenu. Unaleta ukiwa nani? Atupokea ngi everything. Tunapokea specific. Lakini kuingine, ukipeleka hata utaulizo wa njina. 
Hata utaulizwa nini natakika na hapa. Hata we... alipewa alipewa mbasha after I explain yeye ni nani na ni kwa nini anataka. Na haikuchukuliwa siku ya kama akaambia na uta, utangojea mchungaji anakujanga kesho. So he had to wait. Na hakuwa na pesa kidogo. Lakini unajua the thing is not about money. The thing is about faithfulness. It is about uh, you know it's about contentment. It's not about greed. It is not about everything is not about money. No. Everything is about God. And that's why you see here men were specific. Those workers were specific. They said everything is complete now. Please tell tell the men and women not to give and they were stopped. One because there, there was no corruption within. And one of the things that we do not allow here is corruption, is greed. It is lack of contentment because this is what will make us greed. This is what will make us as, as businessmen and women to exploit the customers. This is what will make us as office workers to exploit the people that we are supposed to serve by Chai Kindoro, by he. Yes. Those who people who know me. Not, every, not everyone who can bring money in my office I will accept. No. Some others are nitawambia mupeleke katika madhabau yenu. Maali muna tokanga. Wasinja wakafikiria hapa ni kama kuingine. Kwa maana ni vizuri. And that's why we believe that God is going this is what this is this is where the grace giving started wakati huo wa Musa mahali pale palionekana what we call the grace of uh, the grace of giving i want us to go to um, to, to to touch something about the grace of giving as i hand now brothers we want you to know about the grace that god has given the mas- ma- Kendonian churches out of the most severe trials they are overflow they are overflowing joy and their extreme poverty wound up in rich generosity if it if you have yone kanangi pamoja mumesikia ebu ebu ka hapo tena they don't mix but here we have seeing severe trials overflowing joy then extreme poverty ambao you may well up with rich generosity those things that not come together but when there's grace of god let's continue for i testify that they gave as much as they were able and even beyond their ability and uh, entirely on their own entirely on their own that means without being pestered reminded accord arrest in apeanoa without being pushed for i testify you know entire on their own verses 4 they angry they angry blinded with us for the privilege of sharing in this service to the saints Yaani the plead and tapadhali musitufungie nje. Uh-huh. Verse 6. And they did not do as we expected, but they gave themselves first to the Lord and then to us in keeping with God's will. So we urge Titus since uh he and Arya made uh he and Arya made a beginning to bring also the comp- the completion this act of grace or on your part but just as you excel in everything in faith in 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 speech in knowledge in uh, in complete honestness and in your love for us see that you also excel in the grace of giving now that is one of the things that does not grow within us others grow so the grace of giving or help us to excel in our giving as we excel in faith and everything i am not commanding you but i want to test the sincerity of your love 
by comparing it with the earnestness of others. Verses 9. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that through though uh, he was rich yet uh, for your sick, he became poor, so that you, uh, you through his poverty might become rich. And here is my advice about what is best for you in this matter. Last year, you were the first not only to give, but also to have the desire to do so. Now finish the work so that your, un, uh, your eager willingness uh, to do it may match by your com completion of it according to your means. For in, in the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has, not according to what he does not have. We give not out of what we do not have, out of what we have. And sometimes uh, we have seen because of the grace of God, we can give uh, even what we do not have. Our desire is not that others might be uh, relieved while you are hard pressed, but that there might be equality. At the present time, your plenty will supply what you need so that in turn, uh, their plenty will supply what you need. Then there will be equality. As it is written, he who gathers much did not have too much, and he who gathers little did not have too little. I thank God who put into the act of Titus the same concern I have for you. For Titus uh, not only welcomed our, uh, our appeal, but he is coming uh, to you with much en enthusiasm and on his own initiative. Go to come hapo kidogo. Now, there are five points I'd like us to learn from this text up to verses 24. How do we know that our giving is motivated by God's grace? How do we know? There are five things that will help us to know that our motivation of giving is by the grace of God. One is when we give in spite of circumstances. When you see people giving we, despite of what they are going through, then that is giving prompted by grace. You will not use difficult circumstances as an excuse for not giving. You are not saying because this is what I am going through, this is what is happening, this is what is happening, this is what I am doing, this is what I am doing. When you see people talking like that, that they are not permitted by the grace. They are not giving out of the grace. Because these men of the churches of Macedonia, and it was one, there were several churches, and full of, proper, uh, poor, uh, full of uh, poverty, and uh, they, 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 they are under trials and snares in what they are doing. Because of their unbelief, the history tells us, kwa sababu ya kuamini kuacha miungu yao, walithiakiwa na watu wengine, awakuluziwa kufanya biashara vizuri kama wengine, kwa sababu wameacha miungu ingine. That's how they suffered. But they never took that one as uh, a way to uh, refuse them to do. That's why you see they were saying, uh, we, they, they pleaded with us to allow them to, uh, to take the privilege of, um, of giving. Now, number two, that one will show us you are giving is prompted by the grace. Is when you give enthusiastically. Verses 3 and 4. Um, this means that uh, we, will, we will need not to be prominent, to be reminded. 
enthusiastically means that uh, you it is coming from within inachemuka baka unasema tafadhali ningojema alipale mnakumbuka wakati gindioni gindioni alipozungumziwa na malaika alipoelewa akamwambia tafadhali kaa pale baka nilete sandaka akaki akamwambia nitakaa hapo akakimbia akachinja akapika mkate akakuja na akakuja na ndibai akaambiwa mwaka pale kwa njiwe hapo ndipo alinjua alikuwa anazungumza na Mungu he was he was enthusiastic and before this man did what he was going to do alipeana sandaka mara tatu moja ilikuwa hiyo kwa sababu yake binafsi ingine ilikuwa kwa sababu ya nyumba yake yake ile 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 ndume ya kwanza alafu ndume ya pili kwa sababu ya nyumba ya baba yao that's how he succeeded that kind of enthusiastic is very important where you no need to kuchochewa where you are chochearing in yourself you are giving yourself that is point number two. point number three, that to prove that you are giving is through the grace is when we give as Jesus gave. If you look at verses 9, verses 5 to 9. When you give, when you give as Jesus gave. Jesus gave so that he can be able to uplift others. I don't know what I don't know whether that is what is gone bottom up. Uh, because he came for us. Alitoka mahali alikuwa juu akakucha kwa sisi ili aweze kutuinua. Ah uh, hivyo ndivyo ukiona unapeana kama vile Yesu alipeana ili uinue wengine hiyo is the grace of uh, you know you have the grace of giving number uh, point number four is willingness when we give willingly verses 10 eh yeah, the desire the willingness the willingness goja ni kome hapo the willingness then desire unajua kuna watu wanatoa kwa sababu si kwa sababu ya desire ni kwa sababu wanafurugwa na na unajua hapa au kutapata mtu wa kufuruga utakuta mambo ina ina inatendeka si unaona sasa hapa unaona vile Mungu alisaidia hapa sasa tuko na vitu ambavyo unaona pale tulikuwa na mlango ambao uh, jana huyo uh, mlango umekuwa baraka ya mwingine Uh, kumewekwa wengine hata hii hata hii hapa itapata mwingine wa kuitoa unajua when people are desire when that kind of a thing is when you measure the grace of giving is not si mambo ya kufuruga and number f- ya mwisho it is when we give by faith see when we give by faith meaning we are not even uh praying because we have is because we are faith. Na unajua faith ni ya vitu ambavyo avionekani. Inaanza na faith kabla ainja kuja kuonekana. When you are talking about waiting upon the Lord, it's not when you are seeing the light in the tunnel. That's what we call faith. You are seeing God himself. Praise the name of the Lord. I'd like us to stand up. My God King of glory whatever the desire Jehovah God I know Oh Rimashikara Buka you are doing a Jehovah God for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I know King of glory you are gracious God you are wonderful God you are marvelous God my Lord my God I believe in the name of Jesus You're going to do it, Jehovah God for your own glory in the mighty name of Jesus Rama shakara boka I know Jehovah God Lord Jesus Christ you are doing it for each one of us in the name of Jesus Christ and I know Lord there will be for Jehovah God in their life Jehovah God and Jehovah God my Lord they make all God my Father angry men to God and covenant with you I know Jehovah God they will be victory Lord and the covenant in the name of Jesus Christ for each one of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and they will be victory Lord my God and the grace of God Rama shikara bai oh makaze karabu konto Jesus Christ Jehovah God I decree the power and the grace of God in the mighty name of Jesus let's put our hands together for Jesus 
Let's put our hands together for Jesus for doing it all. Tumekuinulia matoleo yetu. Ya wiki ya pili, Jehovah God my Father. Ya mwezi huu ambako umetuambia to activate divine revelations for victory, we exalt your name. This is also the week where dear Father, we are committing ourselves to developing the land that we bought for your name. Dear Lord, King of glory, this will be a great opening because it is our first commitment. Ya kwamba even when we shall be committed to the work of the project, we will not reduce our tithes and our offerings. We will not reduce our other giving, so Lord. I decree this dear one, so God, as I give unto you, my God, do not forget them. Visit them, dear Lord. Visit their businesses. Visit their families. Visit their offices. Promote them, dear Lord. Give them good health, dear Lord, my God, and joy. We worship and we thank you for who you are. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. The Lord continue to glorify himself in your project. May the Lord continue to give you sharp and good ideas for the glory and honor of the Lord. May the Lord continue to interpret himself in you. In the name of Jesus, that you may be able to do as well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as well uh, for and his purpose for your life. Because he loves you the way you are. Yes, he's concerned about who you are. He's concerned about your life. He's concerned about your, your, your project. He's concerned about your plans. He's concerned about fulfilling. Help you to fulfill all the plans that he has for your life. In you, for his own glory, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all of us say, Amen.